In next 15 minutes, I am going to show you 15 machine learning tips and tricks that will be quite useful for your data science journey. Let us see that without wasting any time. So guys, here are the things we are going to see. Let us see it one by one. Uh, many of us plot confusion matrix in lot of our classification analysis and most of the times it looks ugly, okay? And when we want to show our data story to someone and show our results to someone, confusion matrix should look very, very beautiful, something like this, okay? Because it is appealing to the eyes. So how do you plot confusion matrix like this? So very simple, in place of normal confusion matrix, you have to use a package called confusion matrix display. Okay, so here as you can see from SKLN dot metric, I am taking confusion matrix and I am taking confusion matrix display as well. So this one uh, package will make your confusion matrix looks beautiful, will make it look beautiful and you can take advantage of this. Okay, the second thing is regarding visualizing decision trees. So I am sure many of you would be looking for ways to visualize a decision tree whenever you fit a model on that. Okay. A very simple way to do that is using something known as tree. So if you have this package, right, then you can simply go and plot your tree. So for example, here I am classy, uh, I am fitting a classifier here. You can simply go and plot your tree. It will also give you your details like this, guinea in, in index and values and number of samples. But most important, you can view your decision tree like this. So if I zoom it right, so it's like, you know, you can see what is happening where in your model. So very easy to understand, very simple to look and also good to show to someone also, okay? The third thing I want to cover here is precision in pandas. So every time you want to tell your story, data story to someone, right? You should make it very, very readable, very, very format should be good, okay? For example, if you see my this data frame, right? it looks like numbers all over. So it doesn't look good because, you know, by default, Pandas is giving me a lot of, lot of numbers after, after decimal. What I want is I want to limit this to only two decimal places, something like this, okay? And then I plot the same chart. So if you can see here, it looks more better here, okay? It looks better here now. So why it is looking like this? Because I have just limited the precision of after decimal, okay? So just simple, simple things which will make your data journey smoother. Fourth is, if you want to mount your Google Drive, right, in the Colab. So right now I'm working in Colab, right? So there are two ways to mount your Google Drive. That way you will have to download your, upload your data and notebooks, everything Google Drive you can upload and you can directly access it here, okay? So just a two line command from Google Colab import drive. And then if you see your drive will be imported, okay? And from GUI also, you can do the same thing. Fifth thing I want to cover here is explode in pandas. So here I have taken a simple example. So if you see here, it's a data frame. The first element here I'm giving 789, then XYG. So my data frame looks like this, column A, column B, column C. Many a times you will receive data like this. And what you want to do is you want to break it based on your need. So one example way of breaking it is something like this. Suppose the C column ABC, I want to break it in, you know, multiple rows. How I can do is I can simply go and say DF dot explode C. Okay. So here what I can do, if I give A, then it will be broken on A. And if I give C, it will be broken on C. So explode is a useful function. Next thing I want to cover here is pipe in Panda. So what you can do is you can combine multiple operations through pipe. So let's see here, uh, here. Uh, data, then this is Panda's data frame, salary, others are two columns. Let's say I want to apply two different functions on this, okay? So first is subtract federal tax and second is subtract state tax. So subtract federal, federal tax, what it will do is it will take 90% of it. State tax, what it will do is it will just apply this formula if you give the rate, okay? So suppose I want to get the actual number somebody will get in hand or, you know, from 8,000, I want to get a take home salary. How I can get it? I can just pipe these two functions. So if you can see here, df dot pipe first function, df dot, uh, dot pipe second function. So here I'm able to get the salary. Okay. So you can pipe multiple functions together. 
next thing i want to cover here is an interesting thing known as faker in python i have covered this in one of my previous video also so faker is your savior when you want to generate some data and do some quick analysis so what faker does is it generates data for you so here in this case i'm installing faker and what i'm saying is give me some names so see this carefully guys give me some names i'm saying you can generate address you can generate telephone numbers you can generate pin codes you can generate post codes names titles designation company names many things you can generate and you can prepare a full you know tabular data for yourself in this case just to show you what i'm saying is give me italian name give me us english name and give me japanese name okay and I'm running this loop 10 times. You can see it is giving me a combination of some English name, Japanese name and uh, Italian names. OK, so suppose you have a need of generating, let's say, Italian address and Italian phone numbers. So this faker module will help you there. OK, and it can generate some text for you. It can generate many things. You can just Google once Python faker. It will give you all the details. OK. Eight thing what I want to cover here is uh, just when you are presenting your models, how you have fit a model, right? Or how you have done your analysis. If you want to present to a layman, then this HTML skill learning is very useful. So see here what's happening. What I'm doing is I'm encoding, I'm importing one hot encoder standard scalar, some packages, and I'm saying make pipeline num numerical and make pipeline categorical. And on my data, I'm just saying numerical for my numerical feature, categorical for my categorical feature. And in the end, I'm running a logistic regression model. Now, if you want to show this flow to some layman, right? See here, I will click on simple imputer. It will show like this. Another simple imputer, standard scalar, one out scalar, and then the logistic regression. So what it shows is, it shows you a flow which anybody can understand. So what I'm doing here, two different pipelines. One is for categorical data, other is for continuous data. Then I'm bringing it here and I'm running a logistic regression model. OK, so useful for demonstrating your work to someone. Another thing I want to show you here is many a times in Jupyter notebook, we want to see the progress, but the progress does not show. It just keeps running and running. So there is a package called rich through rich. You can just see the progress of your uh, particular cell. For example, in this case, it was showing the progress. Now it is saying 100% succeeded. Okay, so if if you are, if you want to, you know, show the progress or use it for your purpose, use the package called Rich. Okay. Next thing I want to show here is Venn diagram in Python, which is not very commonly used, but it's very very useful. And uh, again, for data storage, for presentation, for demonstration, you just have to import a package called Ven and Venn, and then. Write your things and it will give you the Venn diagram. So you can change color. You can do many things here. OK. Next thing is very interesting. So I'm sure all of you know something known as a Rejex, which stands for, you know, regular expression pattern matchings in Python. But sometimes it becomes very difficult to write the Rejex that we want. OK, that is where a package called Prejex comes into picture. So what this package does is in in you know very close to natural language you can define what you want for example here i'm importing some packages if you see any letter any digit any form optional at least most either capture okay so what you can say is here you can define some sub patterns for example optional okay http plus optional s plus so suppose if you want to write this using basic rejects it will be a lot of effort OK, here you say any letter or any digit. Very simple to write here. But if you want to write the same thing in regular rejects, then it will be, you know, you need to know what to write. And then if you see here, I'm just writing here alpha num at least most any form alpha num either any digit. So I'm using some, you know, English kind of sentences. Um, I mean to say the words. And here I'm generating a cool rejects if you see here. By doing above things, I'm able to generate a reject something like this. What you can see here, a complex rejects. OK, and when I pass a text like this, right, then it simply gives me the matches based on my rejects. This is an IP. This is a URL and this is another URL from my text. OK, so just explore this package called rejects. OK, this will be interesting and useful for you. 
Next thing I want to show you here is something known as Pandas AI. So what Pandas AI will do is it will allow you to run a command on your data frame like this. So you no need to write any code. You just have to ask which are the five happiest countries or give me the top five from this column or give me the average of this. So what you are doing is you are introducing AI on Pandas data frame. Okay. So how to do that? There is a simple package called Pandas AI. See here, I've opened this. Okay. So in Pandas AI, what it is? Pandas AI is a Python library that adds generative AI capabilities to Pandas. The popular data analysis and manipulation tool, it is designed to use in conjunction with Pandas and not a replacement for it, okay? So what you can do is you can just take your chat GPT or open AI token. You can put it here. Here I am rating my, you know, your token here. And what will happen is it will simply use this Pandas AI smart data frame and give you the answer of questions like this, okay? Please try this, this is really, really interesting. Next thing I want to cover here is Jupyter AI Chat GPT. So Jupyter AI Chat GPT is something which you can install a Python package like this or from the Google Chrome, you can install it. Let me show you that also. So if you search Jupyter AI Assistant, it will tell you to get an extension in Google Chrome like this, okay? So I leave it to you to explore this, but what are the capabilities of this is? It can explain your code, it can debug, it can complete, it can review, you can ask a chat GPT question, you can give a voice command. So many things from your Jupyter notebook you can do here, okay? So just explore this, get an extension and do the exploration. Next thing I want to show you here is a very, very useful thing. There is something called as NAS Awesome Notebooks. And again, uh, courtesy to the creator of these notebooks. Very, very nice notebooks created here. If you see, for example, if I open AWS, right, you will find templates for everything. That is the most good thing about this. So in AWS, if I say get files from S3 bucket, right, you will find the template for that. So a simple template, you put your key here, bucket name here, run this code and you get your file. Similarly, you see how many folders and how many files are there almost for everything there is things okay so what you can do is you can make advantage of you can take advantage of this notebook and you can use it i just thought of showing you as part of this ml tips and tricks okay last but not the least suppose you are working in mysql and you you have suddenly given a work in oracle or you have suddenly given a work in teradata you don't know how to convert query of one format to another format that is where sql gloat comes into picture so what it does is for example if you see here right i'm saying select this read is this db and write is hive db okay so this this is my query okay this is my query and read is this db write is this db means it will just convert my query from source to target database like this okay so what you can do is you can directly use this query so this is useful if you are not sure what query to write okay so in query writing it will help you here what it is telling me in a human readable format it is telling me error in a python uh, sorry sql command so it is saying me expecting line one, column 20, start context. So what it is saying is it is giving you a readable error which you can uh, work on easily or which you can rectify easily, okay? So these are the 15 ML tricks that I wanted to cover as part of this video, guys. Everything is useful for you, hence I put everything together. Let me know if you want this notebook. Drop me a comment you want this notebook. I will definitely share it with you. See you all in the next video, guys. Wherever you are, stay safe and take care.